Okay, so we've introduced the most basic type of group, the most probably the most common type of group, the believer group. And now we're going to talk a little bit about how to earn your role. It's important for you to know that when you start your group, you shouldn't force yourself upon people. Maybe that's you're happy to hear that. Maybe this is one of your concerns. You're thinking, wait, am I, am I all of a sudden going to be this spiritual authority? Do I approach people and say, I want to disciple you? Do you know, do you give them the definition of disciple making and say that you want to play that role? Probably not. That's probably not how you're going to start your group. You're going to have to earn your growth, your role. You're not going to walk into the group and just sort of anoint yourself as the leader in in the group. So let's talk a little bit about that. But again, let's put the definition of disciple making up there. Disciple making is moving people toward Christ by imparting biblical truth in the context of caring relationships. So with that in mind, let's talk about how to earn the leader title in your group. It's going to take a while. So here's how you earn it. Two basic things. Number one, just simply take the lead on imparting truth. You don't have to say that you are anything like this. Just take the lead on imparting truth. It's it's your role to make sure that truth is imparted to the people in your group. So a couple basic things you should do. Be strategic about the series that you choose. Make sure that you're aware of what's available at rednotes.org, all the different options that are there. And be strategic. Make sure that you pick a series that fits with the group members, okay? Especially when you're starting the group. And then secondly, just be prepared to lead the discussion after the videos. Maybe this sounds obvious, but don't go into it blindly. Make sure that whichever series you choose, that you're sort of ready, you sort of are anticipating where the where the questions are going to lead and and maybe the questions in red there at the bottom of some of the videos you don't like maybe you're going to have some of your own questions that's fine be prepared to lead the discussion after the videos it shouldn't take hours to prepare most of it is very simple but be ready to lead the discussions so that's the first thing take the lead on imparting truth secondly actually care for your group you know disciple making is moving people in the context of caring for them so that means you actually have to care for them you know these aren't guinea pigs uh, these aren't uh, th- these aren't just experimental people for you this is someone that you should really care about you should really desire to help now again they might not be ready to hear that they might not be ready for your pastoral care but be prepared to do it here are some tips especially for when you start number one make a commitment to pray for them and make sure you let them know it So here's what I mean by that. You know, you start your group maybe after the first week or the second week. uh, You say to the group members, you say, listen, I want you to know that that I'm praying for you a regular. That's one of my commitments to you as a group leader is I'm going to be praying for you. And an easy context to bring that up in is is maybe at the end of one of your meetings, you say, do you have any prayer requests? I'd like to start keeping some prayer needs and jotting them down. And I'm making a commitment to praying for you. You know, you'll be amazed at how much that will mean to your group and, and actually how that will begin to endear them to you. How, you'll you'll find yourself earning this leadership role in their life just because you care for them. You know, they, they don't care as much about what you know as they do about whether you love them or whether you care about them. So make sure that you do. And then number two, encourage them with an occasional devotional thought. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff that you're going to be imparting to them, a lot of the truth is going to be in the context of the series that you're doing. But there's all kinds of sort of standalone videos on the website, devotional type videos, devotional thoughts. There's all kinds of stuff that maybe as you're praying for them, maybe that your group is on Tuesday, but on Friday you pray for them and just, you know, your your heart is heavy because uh, because of a prayer need that they shared on Tuesday. So maybe shoot them a text or an email and encourage them with something in the word. Or even even maybe there's a devotional video on Red Notes that you just forward along to them that you feel like might really impact their life. Encourage you to do that on occasion. That really would mean a lot to them. And that's a real simple way to actually care for your group. Now, right, right now, why don't you hit pause? And with your coach, talk about some of these questions in red. And then in the next video, the last video for today, we're going to talk about how Jesus led his group.